Hey guys, it's Tez. Welcome back to Tasmania TV. In today's video, I am going to be talking a little bit about skincare and specifically skincare that I use for my very dry and rosacea skin. And I've done videos like this in the past, but since I discovered that I have rosacea, my skincare routine has changed. And you guys have been asking me about it on Instagram, so I figured why the hell not make a proper video out of it. And before we get started, I just want to mention that none of the content in this video is sponsored in any way. All of the products you are about to see were picked out and paid for by me. So nobody sent these to me, nobody asked me to promote them or anything like that. I have selected them all by myself. So first things first, I have very dry skin and I have atopic dermatitis or eczema. Now, as an adult, I have very, very mild symptoms of this. This is a chronic skin condition that you cannot be cured from, but with treatment, a lot of people can have it under control. And that is the case for me. I very rarely have issues with eczema. And the same goes for rosacea. And rosacea is an illness that I know a lot of people think it has to do with acne and like oily skin and stuff like that. It doesn't have to do with that at all. I have really dry skin and I still have rosacea. So it doesn't have to do with oiliness or like impurity or anything like that. That's just a myth. And like eczema, rosacea is also not something that you can recover fully from, but again, you can get it under control if you find the right treatment. And again, I only have mild symptoms of the rosacea as well as the eczema, so I don't require specific uh, prescriptions for medical products. The things I use are off-the-counter products. And I am not a healthcare professional, so just because these products work for me does not mean that they will work for everybody else. So if you have eczema or rosacea and you need some help finding products, you should talk Talk to a specialist such as a dermatologist. That is what I did and that is who gave me the diagnosis of rosacea. The eczema I've had all my life and had a slightly more severe version of it as a kid. I was treated all the time with stuff but that's not required as for me as an adult. So eczema gives you very dry very itchy skin but rosacea gives you red skin. It can cause like pimple like things to pop up in very, very severe cases, it can deform your nose, like make it swell up and stuff. It can even affect your eyes. So it can be pretty serious and be really bad if you don't get the right kind of treatment. But for me, the only thing that happens if I don't treat it is that I get these little red dots that look like acne. And I started having these symptoms maybe a year and a half ago as I'm recording this now. And at first I was like, what the fuck is happening? Is it a reaction to a makeup product? Is it like a hormonal thing? I don't get it. I was so frustrated. I was sure that it was because of uh, my favorite um, foundation. So I stopped using that for a while, but it still didn't go away. And then after a while I realized that it was rosacea after getting the diagnosis and stuff and i should say i started taking care of my skin like at all because i haven't really done that before i'll get back to you on that but yeah i started treating it and as long as i keep treating it it's almost completely gone now i can still have tiny little red spots here and there on on occasions but it's to the point where i can cover them up with makeup so it's fine and yeah, I'm the kind of person who hasn't really done anything to their skin as an adult before. I've gone through most of my life just using makeup wipes and then doing nothing else after that. I've rarely moisturized. I just hate doing that kind of stuff. And like I said, I do have a naturally very dry skin, so I really should have been taking better care of it before, but uh, yeah, no, I didn't <laughs> until recently. So nowadays I do take better care of my face and I should be better at moisturizing the rest of my body as well. My hands get super dry, especially right now during the coronavirus when you have to wash your hands all the fucking time. So yeah, when I do get eczema nowadays, it is on my fingers and hands, sometimes on my toes. That is why I don't wear jewelry. Um, I don't even wear my wedding ring, as you guys can tell most of the time, because it causes the eczema to break through. So I'll just not wear it. Stuff around my neck is fine, but things on my fingers, nope. So uh, nowadays, in the morning when I wake up, I splash my face with water and then I wash it with one product that I'm about to show you. And then I put a moisturizer on. I'm going to show you all the products and talk about them later on. And then I do if I put makeup on or if I don't put makeup on, but that's like the thing I do in the morning. And then I go about my day as per usual. And then at night, 
if I have makeup on, I still use makeup wipes to remove the makeup because honestly, I think that is the best way to get rid of makeup. The only other product I use for removing makeup is an oil-based remover and that is for when I have lipstick on. But for like foundation and for the eye makeup and stuff, these wipes, they're so freaking handy and I absolutely love them. So that's what I use. But instead of just going to bed right after having wiped things off like I used to do, I now splash it off with water and use that same cleanser again, then moisturize and then use one product for rosacea. So the products that I am using, there are two brands that are the most important. I'm gonna show you a couple of other things as well later on, but the first brand is called Cetaphil, which is a series of skincare products for people who have dry skin. Hello, me. <laughs> and this is something you buy off the counter at the pharmacy and they have a handful of products and these two are the ones that I've tried, but there are like full body products as well, but these are for your face. So there is the face wash, which is like a pump action bottle. And that is what I use after having removed the makeup with a wipe. So a wipe in combination with that wash is how I get rid of all the shit on my face. And then the second product from Cetaphil is their face moisturizer. And that is what I use directly after having washed it with that little pump action face cleanser. So cleanser and then moisturizer on top of that. And then the third product that is not from Cetaphil that is called Rosasol and that is a rosacea cream. It's also off the counter. So it's for milder cases like mine. I'm not sure how it would work if you have more serious symptoms of rosacea, but this works great for me anyway. And this is the kind of cream that you shouldn't wear if you're in the sun a lot. So I only put this on once a day and I do that right before going to sleep. So right after having removed the makeup that I've had that day, done the moisturizer, and then I apply the roses all after that, and then I go to sleep so that it works during the night when I'm not out in the sun. They recommend that you use the product two times a day, and for the first month or so, I did use it in the mornings as well, but then I realized that the whole being out in the sun and brisking it, damaging your skin was not worth it for me, and I also realized that it, it still worked, like the effect was still there even if I only used it once a day. So once a day is what I do with the Rosasol and that is again right before I go to bed. So it works during the night. And I just want to quickly show you what my skin can look like if I don't treat it properly. So here is a photo that I posted on Instagram like six months ago or something. But I think that was before, like right before I got the diagnosis of rosacea and I was still frustrated. It shows what my skin looked like when I had the breakouts and then it shows what it looked like after when I've put like moisturizer and stuff on, slept and then woken up in the morning and it's pretty much all gone. Like that's how fast it works if you only treat it right. So uh, yeah, it's not crazy insanely bad skin, but you can see that there are some spots and I have had the luck of having pretty good skin my entire life. So having breakouts as a fucking 38 year old has been just, Ugh, like it's been horrible. I've hated it and it's just felt wrong, you know, like I'm not a teenager anymore I'm not supposed to have stupid acne and then yeah, you realize that it's rosacea and it's something else and Whatever, but I can treat it now. So it's okay. So as long as I use these products once a day The rosacea stays away like 95% of it does I can still get I'm wearing makeup now, but you can't even see like on my cheek here. There is a little spot but I did put makeup on it and as long as I do it doesn't show like they're not huge red blobs some people get really 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 red cheeks and stuff but yeah makeup is a great trick <laughs> but even without makeup on my skin looks almost as good as it used to before I got the rosacea now that I'm treating it so I'm very happy that I actually found these products and that they're working for me and I thought that I would share some other products that I've also been using not every day like I do with these three, but on occasion when I feel like I need it. Most of these are from The Body Shop. I really like The Body Shop and really enjoy their products. The first product that we have is actually tea tree oil and this is a product that I have loved my entire life. I remember being a teenager and having teenage acne and tea tree oil fixed that so fast, like so much better than anything else. I also love the smell of tea tree oil. It is magical and it makes you feel clean and nice and yeah it's just a great oil and before i found the rosazol like the uh, rosacea treatment that i'm using now i actually used this tea tree oil product a lot and that got rid of it a little bit the tea tree oil is a great product for 
like breakouts or even some of the symptoms of rosacea. I really, really love that. I also love the little eyedropper tool that's in that bottle. Um, another product from the body shop is one of their youth serums. It contains vitamin E, which is good for elderly skin. Like I'm midlife kind of aged. So yeah, when you start to show wrinkles and stuff, I'm wearing so much makeup that you probably can't tell, but yeah, I got some wrinkles and vitamin E is a good thing to kind of help stop that so that i like that serum and it's the kind of thing that you can put on right before going to sleep and then it works during the night i also really like their aloe vera eye cream your eyes are usually pretty sensitive and whenever i do do something to my eyes i don't do that every day because again i'm lazy but whenever i do something which is like once or twice a week i do use that aloe eye cream from the body shop and it's very nice and soothing it doesn't make your eyes itch or anything like that then i also really love this product which is by the ordinary i can't even pronounce what this is <laughs> but it's something that i researched and found that it was good for the kind of breakouts that i thought i was having and it did help a little bit with the rosacea but not nearly as much as the actual rosacea cream that i'm using now so i switched from using that ordinary product to using the rosacea product once I found that. But I still have that and it's still a very good product. It's one of those eyedropper tools again and it's oily, but oily in a way that dries and it's kind of cold to the, it's very special, it's a very special kind of product. And I know people really like the ordinary. I've heard a lot of people say great things about that brand. So, but this is the only product that I've tried from them, but I actually, yeah, I really like it. And uh, I, I still use it every now and then, even though I've switched up to the rosacea cream now. And then the final sort of bonus product is again from the body shop. And this is a uh, face mask. It's something that I do like once a month, maybe if I have like a little spa day at home or something. And this is their charcoal mud mask, I think it is. And I absolutely love this thing. Before finding the rosacea treatment, I used to put this mask on more often than I do now because I did feel like it temporarily made things better. Uh, but now that I have the actual treatment for the skin disease, I don't need to do the mask as often, but it's very nice when I do because it makes my skin feel nourished and not as dry and it makes it kind of shiny and stuff so uh yeah it's it's a very nice sort of luxury product even though none of the stuff is expensive like all of these products that i've mentioned today are things that are at a reasonable price i fucking hate it when you see like influencers or whatever and they're talking about this and that brand and stuff is so fucking expensive like no normal person could afford that this is regular stuff like i'm a regular person with a normal job sort of and uh I don't make money off of being an influencer. That's not what I do any of this stuff for you guys. So I just want to make sure that the products that I feature in my videos are affordable because I need to be able to afford them and you guys need to be able to afford them. So that's why the brands that I like to talk about are things that are accessible and not insanely overly priced the way they can be. So uh, yeah, my skin is all in all pretty okay. <laughs> All things considered, if you have any more questions about the kind of products that I use or anything that you saw in this video, you can feel free to comment in the section below and I'll try to get back to you. Also, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Facebook where I update more frequently than I do here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching and remember, do no harm, but take no shits. I'll see you next time.